agree with Steve on Marshall, but we'd love the Europeans to do well as well, of course. Go Let's team go Europe. for the Canadian International. Out in the Patterson Canadian International. And Marsh side broke sharply. Loop box, Jury is on the outside. Bucciolati is right there with the early speed. And a spice fruit, the Quijano, is on the heels of Marsh side. And Champs Elysees is down toward the inside. And it's Marsh side to dictate the pace as they take that run up to the back stretch. Loop box, Jury is on the outside. And Quijano's toward the rail. Then we have the diminutive Bucciolati, who's clear of trouble on the outside. In a fourth, a Champs Elysees. Drafts in behind horses, and Spice Root allied powers, and just as well as at the back of the pack, back seven lengths off the lead of this pace setter, and that pace setter is the defending champion, Marsh Side, with Javier Castellano. They lead it by three lengths. The opening quarter was in 26 seconds, the half in 51 and one, and Marsh Side is on a mission here. Marsh Side playing catch me if you can. The gray jukebox jury is in second position. Quijano travels well down to the inside in the third. Then a Bucciolati just to the outside of Quijano. Spice Roots on hold in fifth and four and a half lengths off the lead. In behind him is Allied Powers. Chans Elysees is eight lengths from the front and just as well is the trailer. One fifteen and three for three quarters of a mile. And it's still Marsh side. Marsh side into the far turn. Duke Box Jury is getting closer in second now. Bucciolati's on the outside third. Down to the inside is Quijano. Quijano's fourth and four and a half lengths from the front. Spice Root just overtook a Quijano. Allied Powers is being hard ridden between horses. Then Champs Elysees and just as well. Three furlongs to go in the Patterson Canadian International. And it's Marsh side. Duke Box Jury. Comes on on the outside. Bucciolati is on the far outside. Left-handed encouragement for Spice Root. And they're inside the quarter pole. Duke Box Jury has overtaken Marsh side, but has Bucciolati to contend with. And Champs Elysees is kicking in down the center of the course. Duke Box Jury, Bucciolati, Champs Elysees with a ferocious run on the far outside. Marsh side's trying to find some more. Champs Elysees, Duke Box Jury coming to the wire. Jean's Elysee streaks to the wire to win the Patterson Canadian International over Jukebox Jury. Well, it's one for John Mon Farms and Bobby Frankel, Gary Gomez. Jean's Elysee was very well supported. Hadn't won for a while, as Steve was saying. He's eventually picked them up. I thought Bucalati was going to come through at one stage. The grey Jukebox Jury has battled on really well. Marsh died down the fence, but here's the favourite coming to uh, deliver the telling blow. Yeah, well done, and, and my apologies to Champs-Élysées. I thought he had lost a step, but this is a tremendous training job from uh, Bobby Frankel, getting the six-year-old peaking at the right time. Obviously, this was their uh, the, 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 the race that they had pointed to all season, so congratulations to them. Um, funny ride and funny sort of from, from Marsh side. I don't think he really wanted the lead. Royston French said, go ahead, Javier, take it. Great run from this three-year-old. I thought Bucalotti ran a decent race. Interesting, uh, young William Bjork trying to get him to switch legs, trying to do everything, and the horse just would not switch over to his outside leg. He was laying in a little bit. Um, no blame on the rider there at all. Just maybe a little bit of greenness from Bucalotti. You know, seeing the big grandstand to his right, you know, mm. it, it's new surroundings. But let's not, not take anything away from the royally bred winner, the Europeans in second and third once again, and two improving horses that we will see in the future with the European flag or the British flag, uh, Duke Box Jury and Bucalati, second and third, uh, Garrett Gomez, the only rider to get any run off of a very slow pace on Champs de Lisey. Tremendous, tremendous finish. He didn't want to go near Castellano. He says, you stay to the inside, I'll go to the outside. I know what you did to me last time. Well, he ran a race in the Breeders' Cup Classic last year. He was only five uh, lengths behind Ravens' uh, pass, and he was narrowly beaten in...